Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, your Monday has started off well. Went to a card show in Lexington, Kentucky this past Saturday. I actually just got home, so I'm recording this now. Thoughts on to it. Long drive. Was hoping to pick up way more. Um, a lot of people way overpriced, as you guys see in the video. Uh, let's start off with the Jack Hughes. That's around $225, $251, $450. There's just no room for negotiation or even trying to come back down to where it needs to be at. He was pricing as if it was a graded card. The Kuminga was like almost double in price. They were going for like one and a quarter I seen. I uh, just was looking for different stuff, you know, that I possibly could grade out. Even though there was a little whiting on the Kuminga, if I could have threw it in with the... Hughes, uh, you know, I probably would have did it for around, we'll just say together they were 375 If I could got them for about 330 340 I'd have been happy, but picked up, moved on. I'm trying to think when I put some comments on in the video. The Larry Bird. Guy was like, I want 250 for it. And I'm like, I thought these only go for like 2 2 and a quarter. He goes, well, I got room. I can do 2 and a quarter. Then he comes out with what I already knew, saying, well, the auto's kind of jacked up. And I'm like, yeah. And I, I just sat there and thought in my head, I'm like, there's also the back has a lot of whiting to it. So I said it doesn't even pay to pay to 225 to grade it because it's just off. And um, he's like, yeah, I can't go much lower than that. And I'm like, well, where can you go? Because, I mean, I like Larry Bird uh, having the um, Hall of Fame autos and stuff like that to hold. But I'm not going to overpay on stuff in bad condition. It turned out, he was like, well, that's why I didn't grade it. And I'm like, yep, another one that just comes up with stuff like that there. So I just moved on. I'm like, you know what, not getting nowhere, moved on. Uh, the weirdest one was I was going to buy that Zion rookie auto from Flux. 
they were averaging around 650. I was going to see if he takes 600. You know, that's only like maybe 10% off, if that. It's not even that. Well, under. I mean, if he would sell it on eBay, he's losing 15%. And he's like, uh, I have to check on my boss. And I'm like, waiting, waiting. He just ignored me. And I'm like, you know what? You want my money? Not good enough? Out. So I did meet a couple people there. I tried to pick some Mickey Mantle vintage up. The guy was just a little bit over. I was trying to get him right at the price. I had no problem paying, you know, recent sale prices on Mantle grading, especially fives. I, I could just say a lot of people are way out of range on pricing. Um, I don't know. Maybe people are paying the high stuff like that for these cards now. I don't know. Different area, different location, different dealers. Uh, some of the dealers I knew were like, yeah, it's 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 high priced in here today. It's way over everything. So, you know, you got to take the good, take the bad. You can't always win at every show. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. This here I picked up before a, uh, oh, Trey Lance Auto, which nine from Clearly Authentic, and a picket that I ten from the guy. Now, no way is this going to be a 10, but I'll tell you what. Looking for Paulo Malu Bowman rookies because this black border is very hard because, one, the centering usually kills them pretty bad. Two, just the black borders, you get a lot of whiting. This has such minimal whiting that I looked at on because you can see a little bit here, a little bit down here, and then the back. You know, I was like, I'm going to take this, and I mean... He cut me a good deal onto it, and I just couldn't say no. So pick this up. This will be a whatnot thing eventually for everybody out there. Um, in case you guys don't know, Whatnot's doing their Whatnot card show. This is version, I guess you can call it 2.0. Was invited, I accepted. So Saturday, March, I want to say it's 25th. Yeah, 25th. 2.15, I'll be live. They want me to do fifty minimum of 50 auctions, 50 fixed pricings. It will be all loaded up within a week there. I'll probably get the auction stuff done earlier. So if you guys are free, stop by. You're going to see some crazy stuff, and I'm going to put some of the buy it now. Is I'll get 50 in there, but I'm going to like maybe about 20, 30 minutes prior, under an hour. I'm going to post some real cheap stuff in the buy it now. Let's just see if who's paying attention. So stop by March 25th. All right, let's move on. Picked a deal up at the end, you guys kind of see. I usually don't show the cash deals and stuff, but, you know, I figure I'd try for once in the video. I don't know. So, picked this up. This was, like, the piece that I was most interested in, the Giddy. Now, the back is a little OC left to right onto it. We're going to see what they do onto it. I have a feeling it's going to come back a 9, but I still was looking for some of his stuff. Uh, to get great. If it would happen to give me a 10 with the back, I'd be amazed. We'll find out, though. 10 would really make this whole deal really, really good. I'm not going to lie. But I'm banking on a 9 onto it. It'll go out here this week. It's why it's in this here now. But along with it, picked up two pieces. McCaffrey, Panini 1 is his second year. Wait. Third, yeah, third year, third year. I think you're 17, 18, 19, third year. Yeah. Sorry, I had to think there. I was going a little crazy in my head with years. There was one that was sold a while back that had worse looking patch stuff onto it than this. And when he gave it to me for it, I was like, I'll take it. McCaffrey stud down there in San Francisco now. I think he'll be there for a while. I think he likes it there, hopefully. And that offense is potent. I don't think it really matters who's going to quarterback him, whether it's Lance or Purdy next year. I think they'll still be really, really good overall. So pick this up. I mean, Panini one. I'm not going to pay to open the boxes anymore. You know, what the heck? I'll just pick the cards out. Somebody probably paid seven, eight hundred dollars and pulled this card out of it. All right, last card in the deal. Last card in the deal. Everybody always asks me about this dude, so I picked one up. Uh, Saint Brown. This is the iMac out of '99. Had a look there, and you can see a little bit of two color going on to there with the patches. Really nice shape. Overall, I was almost tempted to grade this. I may still end up grading it off. It's iMac. I mean, it's harder to grade. I prefer grading stuff like iMac and NT when I open the boxes, but I'm not paying for them anymore because I'm more gentle with, uh, you know, when I'm taking the cards, I'm lifting up, not sliding. 
at the same time frame, you know, it's just I feel more comfortable grading my own stuff. Now, the only other person I could say that I've ever done well was G1 in breaks because he's very, very gentle with the cards. So, but pick this up too in a deal. So, not bad for the three card deal. He basically gave me, let me think here. Probably about 70 bucks off on three cards, so I'll take it, you know. We'll see with the giddy what happens with it and everything on to it. Overall, happy to pick up some different cards and stuff like that to either trade or sell, whatever it may be down the road. And especially right now, nobody's really thinking about much football because it's over with. I figure this might be the time to start starting to pick stuff up here gradually with guys that might have a little bit of an impact or people will be looking for next year. See how it goes. Plus, it's, you know, I pay attention to the whatnot chat. When you start having people come, a lot of people coming in asking for the same either player or team, you're like, huh, maybe I should grab some of these next time I see them if I can get them at a reasonable price and then be able to sell it and make a couple dollars onto it as well. But again, not bad. I mean, it was hour and a half drive there, hour and a half back, so three hours total driving today. But I had to drive to the one post office anyhow, so, you know, kind of made up for it all. Plus, got to pick some stuff up, talk to some people, got to pick up some supplies from my buddy Brian in um, Ronnieville out here that I needed to grab. Uh, just because I was short on when I, what I thought I needed for my BCW order. Barnett, guys, let me think here. This week, Friday night, we're going to do a baseball only auction live on whatnot, 6.45 p.m. Eastern. Stop by. I showed a little preview of that stuff that's there. This is already gone by the time you see a video because hockey's tomorrow for me. Uh, and we're probably going to start doing whatnot once a week just till I, they, I go through this big whatnot card show they're doing because I got to list a lot of stuff and figure it out. But we'll probably just be down to one a week until then. So it'll be baseball next weekend, probably followed by a football and a hockey. And then we'll see where I'm at with everything by then, too. Nah, there's only one more show, which is next weekend. It was real small last time. I mean, like four or five dealers. Uh, we'll see what happens there. And then maybe some last-minute pickups on that same day of the show. I'm going to go up to a Louisville show before I go live on Whatnot. So inventory, you know, change around. It's going to be thin up until then, cause unless I want to drive two to three hours one way for a show. And that's a big gamble. I, I probably won't be doing that at all. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little video and everything like that on to this. Again, it wasn't a bad show. And it wasn't a great show. But I, I enjoyed going there, um, picking up a few things, talking to some people. Overall, on to some different matters with the good old hobby going on out there. All right, guys, I am out. Have a good one. Hopefully see you guys Friday night if you're in the WhatNot uh, app for the baseball only. Lots of relics and autos. I know that. And the commemorative things from Tops. All right, guys, I'm out. See you.